I would like to call up on stage Rashmiya Mahana's Aksa. Hello everybody, uh, good evening to you all. I'm Rashmiya Mahana Jaksa here and welcome to my presentation to my cute friends and my honorable judge and my almost seniors. So today I would like to talk about the contribution of women in aviation sector. So here I go. Introduction. I, uh, I would like to begin with the introduction. Uh, introduction. Women have made a significant contribution in aviation sector since Wright Brothers' 12 second flight in 1903. And uh, women involved themselves in aviation sector since the beginning uh, as aircraft, plane, and helicopter uh, when it developed. So, uh, women pilot, also known as the aviatrix. And uh, they uh, intend themselves to fly combat uh, aircraft since 1908 to 1970. Those women in the century who are involved themselves in a good career to aviation sector also uh, served as the milestone career in the uh, aviation sector. So I would like to uh, talk about the past history of women in aviation. Women were responsible for many major milestones in the origin of aviation. They contribute to uh, several uh, section but first in the industry they faced many kind of rejections first of all i would like to talk about the uh, balance scott who was the first woman drive to the us but the first female pilot fly in the america uh, her instructor glenn curtis who was apathetic to give our flying lesson insert a block of wood uh, beneath her uh, aircraft uh, through it who was responsible for many major milestones in the origin of aviation. Now I would like to talk about the Basie Call Me, who was the first female black pilot in uh, American Africa woman in 1922. Prior to her success a pilot, her brother uh, teach her about not to being able to fly in uh, as a pilot. So she, uh, uh, during the discrimination in United States, uh, she moved herself towards France and interned herself in uh, a most famous French school, which was Education des Ferreres des Condoms, which was the most famous pilot institutions at that time. And at that time, she was a pure comeback to the uh, South America present women in aviation today. After all these years, the needle has hardly budged. According to women in aviation reporters, a recent data collection by the University of Nebraska at Omaha Aviation Institution, women in aviation are under responsible primarily in technical and leadership to role and overrepresented in low income low profile uh, position of each of the areas of aviation women make up 5% of airline uh, captains and 5.1% of all pilot 4% mechanics 3% of ceo coos and their key leadership position 16% airport manager and air traffic controller 40% uh, of TSA screens, 79% uh, of flight attendants, and 86% of travel agents. So I would like to talk about the future, what next uh, for women in aviation. In, and here we can see in 1928, when only 4% 4, uh, 4 of those holding airline transport pilot certificates uh, were women. However, the workforce report also showed that overall 13% of students pilot are women. From this information, we can uh, infer that the number of women in industry is growing and things are more moving the right. Uh, direction, however, at 13%, despite more than tripping women would still be hugely under responsible. Here we can see the Bangladeshi woman in aviation. She is Kanis Fatima Roxana, was the first Bangladeshi woman commercial pilot. She was licensed as commercial pilot in 1977, 1948, Biman Bangladesh Airlines, Fukuoka F-27 crashed, and she was died in uh, 5 August in 1984. So lastly, I would like to say that we are women, 
uh, and girls we are capable to do everything we come to know that they uh, overcome all the barriers of their life and choose the right path so we also can do the same things we are not less than uh, boys less than men so here uh, it's take me to the end